Hi everybody, welcome back to Thought for the Week. This week has seen the release of uh, two songs on the theme of isolation and loneliness. One of them was by uh, Johnny Depp and Jeff Beck. Uh, they did a cover version of the classic John Lennon song, Isolation, which is quite a depressing song because it uh, expresses what John Lennon was uh, feeling at the time of fame and success, that he and Yoko Ono were feeling quite isolated and lonely. The other one's more upbeat, as a cover version of the song familiar to Liverpool fans, You'll Never Walk Alone. It's been done by Captain Tom, who I'm sure many of you will know by now. He's raised over £27 million for the NHS by doing 100 laps of his garden before his 100th birthday. Uh, he's done it with uh, uh, Michael Ball and the NHS Choir, and uh, it's a song of encouragement. These are some of the lyrics from that song. At the end of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart, and you'll never walk alone. There's a message of encouragement to those who are on their own, uh, feeling lonely. Uh, but of course, isolation is, is nothing new. Uh, even before this crisis, people lived on their own, they felt isolated. But hopefully we'll be more aware of their situation, uh, we'll understand it better, and we'll be more willing to, to help them in their, their hour of need. But why is isolation uh, such a hard thing for us as human beings to cope with? Well, I think it's because we, we've been made in the image of a relational God as relational beings. Uh, God is relational, he exists in Father, Son and Spirit. And those three persons have had this perfect relationship even before the creation of the world. When God uh, created human beings, he made us as relational beings to enjoy relationships with him and with with one another. Of course, the world isn't as it was created, and so loneliness is one of those uh, difficult things that uh, many people do experience. But we can call out to God for help, um, and he is the God who can understand our loneliness. Uh, Jesus came to this earth, he experienced loneliness for himself. Uh, he was abandoned by his closest friends in his hour of need. He died a lonely death. We can call out to God. We can say the same prayer that David prayed in the Psalms. This is how David prayed, very honestly and openly expressing what he was feeling to God. He said, turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Now, how do we know God's going to answer those prayers? Well, before Jesus uh, ascended to heaven, uh, he said to his disciples, uh, surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. He promised to come again. He promised to send his Holy Spirit to be with his people, to comfort, to encourage, and to strengthen them. And he's with us today. God said, never will I leave you, nor forsake you. In other words, you'll never walk alone. So I want to um, uh, pray for those people who are living on their own, who are feeling isolated. Uh, I do hope you have somebody you can talk to. Uh, there are lots of people in this village who are willing to help you. Um, so do please get in touch with myself or Richard at St Mary's or those people in their street who have offered to help in this way. But we can all call out to God for help at any time. Uh, just as phones and video calls at this time are uh, an important lifeline to stay in touch with our friends and our families, so is prayer an important lifeline to stay in touch with God. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to pray so if you'd like to join me then please do. Father God, we thank you that you have made us as relational beings. Thank you for the joy of relationships. Thank you for the love that we can receive and the love that we can give. Uh, but we do particularly pray for those at the moment who are isolated, who are feeling lonely. Lord, we pray that we can support them. We can pray that we can encourage them. We pray they will have someone to talk to. And we thank you that any of us can talk to you at any time and receive your comfort and your strength in Jesus name. Amen.